Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be getting into Neville Goddard's procedure on having an outer body experience. And we're going to cover the mantras that he used in the back of the Wilshire Ebell Theater with his VIP students. And the purpose of this, why Neville Goddard did this, is to speed up your manifestation abilities. Because once you have an outer body experience and you connect to source, you connect to God, you become God for that split second, or you can't even really measure it with time. But once you connect with that God source and what we came from and you become consciousness, then your ability to believe new things to come into your life and believe in the impossible becomes more simple for you. So you no longer have these blocks and these barriers and all of these things that are holding back your manifestations because we were trained a certain way from childhood to believe that you need a logical sequence of events for things to take place in your life in order for you to get money in order for you to have a good relationship or a good career you have to go through all these steps but in, but in reality you don't really need these things those are just beliefs that you've that have been planted or downloaded in your mind from your childhood and the way that you were raised but Neville Goddard had this procedure where you skip this step entirely and actually skip the entire seven years of meditation that it takes to connect to consciousness. Neville Goddard created a mantra and an actual exercise to take you to that next level. And in this video, I'm going to be covering my grandfather's experience with Neville Goddard and his outer body experience. And I'm also going to share my outer body experience that I had when I used this technique. And I'm going to be reading out of my book, You Are The Way. I'm going to expound a lot further the things that weren't mentioned in the book. I'm going to touch up on those and expound on those. So let's begin right here. Neville Goddard demonstrated this phenomenon with an outer body experience exercise, being one with everything and connecting to source, becoming consciousness. So to his VIP group, through an exercise, what he achieved with them in only one afternoon is usually reported by Buddhist monks after seven years of deep meditation practice. And this is something that the Buddhist monks do. They meditate for days on and for years and years and years to have this, to, to have this outer body connection with consciousness and becoming God and downloading all this information and just releasing your ego, releasing yourself from the three-dimensional holographic world and going within yourself and becoming God and manifesting anything that you want. So first, the members were told to sit comfortable in a circle of chairs. So this is the exercise right here. This is the first thing Neville Goddard did with his students and my grandfather being one of them. First, the members were told to sit comfortable in a circle of chairs. Then a blanket was placed over each one's head voluntarily of course sitting like this the outer world muted okay so they're sitting there they put these blankets over their heads and then they would repeat this mantra that neville goddard gave them for hours until they fell into a deep trance like state which is theta you're going into theta at this point in this meditation con disconnecting yourself from the three-dimensional world and repeating this mantra right here be still and know that I am God. So this is the mantra that they repeated. So this is the mantra that they repeated over and over and over again within this circle of chairs with these blankets over their heads, disconnected from the three-dimensional holographic world, and they're in theta at this point. So this procedure pursued the goal of creating a feeling like that of a moth merging with light. The insect notices the heat, but it is so euphoric under the spell of the light that it can't help but move closer and closer until it melts into it. And even if that means being burned up as a result, this procedure is like resetting the mind. As in our example of amnesia, we lay everything down to our everlasting core of being. And in this technique and in this exercise with Neville Goddard, everyone was allowed to choose their own fateful ob object, the imaginative lamp. And my grandfather told me this in detail, which wasn't covered in the book here, where he chose a weapon where he would die to his old self, die to his physical body and become supernatural by entering the spiritual world and then connecting to consciousness. So that was the next step here. And then after that, my grandfather described to me that he then removed 
his his skin spiritually in the spiritual world not the physical world in the spiritual world he removed his skin like it was a garment like clothing he then took it off and then he left his body went up into the clock in the room that they were in in the back of the wilshire ebell theater he went inside this clock and then he entered the city itself then he went into a building then he went into uh, the entire city of los angeles and then he was looking at the, the city of los angeles and he became the city of los angeles and then he could feel every different movement and that was happening within the city and then he became the entire world and then the entire universe and then he connected with god himself this ultimate state of consciousness and then i cover the rest of it in this book my grandfather realized at this point that nothing existed outside of himself that he himself was everything that the whole vast world is him pushed out this experience was no imagination it was no imaginal act what neville performed with his vip members was in fact a provoked near-death experience there are thousands and thousands of people who have experienced and reported similar feelings and occurrences so essentially within this meditation of repeating the mantra going under the blanket and having this self-provoked death which is not an imaginal act it's not going to come true in your three-dimensional world but but essentially what happened is my grandfather realized that we ourselves are god that we are the consciousness of god we are pure imagination the substance of our reality we can consciously control our lives and manipulate the world with our imagination because we are what we experience we are what we experience and everything is us pushed out so when you connect to god the god source you realize that everything that is happening to you is based on your inner dialogue your inner talking your your imagination the images in your mind and the feeling states are being pushed out into the world and creating your 3d holographic world from within you and you can create this you can manipulate this but understanding this and actually experiencing this to be true speeds up your manifestation process and then a lot of your blocks go away because you realize that anything is possible that you are the actually the creator of everything and you are god himself just in this physical form this body this individual body but once you disconnect from that you realize that everything is you you're just connected to this physical body and that's what gives you the blocks and everything that you were trained to believe and consent to be true in your world is what's holding back your manifestation abilities and your your instant manifestation abilities any manifestation abilities and i also had a very similar experience to this when i was in solitary confinement in when i was in prison and i spent hours and hours and days and days and months and months in solitary confinement and i spent most of my day maybe eight to twelve hours a day in deep meditation and i started exploring the mind it started disconnecting myself and repeating this mantra using these techniques i didn't use the self-provoked death but i but i stayed in this meditation for so long and i think that the self-provoked death was they were able to do that within like a, a couple hours but it took me longer than that but i wanted to i had a lot of time to where i wanted to um, explore the consciousness and, and explore my mind and then go deep within myself and connect to god more naturally so i did the same by, but i repeated this mantra be still and, and know that i am god and i would sit in like a half lotus position with my back completely straight and i did other positions as well but what happened was i disconnected i had the same sort of experience where i took off my skin like it was a garment and then i released myself completely went outside of my body went into the prison went into the city went into the the entire state and then the entire world and then the entire universe just like my grandfather had i connected to everything then all of a sudden i got this quick download of all of this information like it was a quick it was like almost like a maze in my mind where everything just connected like everything just all of a sudden shh, just went into one ball and then completely explained everything that this source where we came from why we were created and everything was just instantly downloaded in my mind and within this download i got the information that i actually created this myself and then i erased my memory 
of entering this so like a like a holographic world that I created and then erased my memory of entering it that way it would feel real to me because otherwise you know just like virtual reality imagine that you created a virtual reality game yourself like a real 3d high-tech simulated game just like this world and then you put goggles on you put your vr goggles on and then you erased your memory of putting those goggles on and then you're within this hologram this high-tech simulated game you don't realize you even have goggles on so you're going to feel as if the game is real but really you created it and then erased your memory of putting the goggles on and that's the instant download that i got and i received this information instantly i received the information instantly that i created this high-tech simulated game but i am everything i was connected to you and everyone watching this video i connected to everyone we all exist as one consciousness one being that created this high-tech simulated game and we live within it and the reason we created this was to live a fulfilling life to actually experience a life to experience a life and that's why we erased our own memory of entering the hologram and why it was created so you're really not supposed to figure any everything out but just know that everything is perfect exactly the way that it is but if your life isn't the way that you want it to be you can manipulate it by changing your inner dialogue changing what you're thinking about and changing the images in your mind and the feeling states by living in the end by focusing on the end and then the hologram is designed to bring this thing to you whatever that feeling state is because that's how it operates that's how it's controlled through your feeling states what you feel to be true and what you already have so that's what the law of assumption is it's it's like a hack into the hologram that creates everything and brings everything to you is by assuming that you already have something even when you really don't have it in the holographic world if you feel it to be true it will be brought to you so that's what imagining is that's what affirmations do that's what scripting does it creates images in your mind of already having something and that's the hack within the hologram that you created that we created as god in the beginning in the beginning we created it just like this and that is the hack to attracting and bringing things to you you can either do it through a logical sequence of events and have it happen naturally and then you feel it or you can feel it now and get it a thousand times faster and there's also another hack to this and that's why i create my sleep meditations my sleep meditations create a feeling state within you as you're going into your subconscious lover the subconscious mind as you're drifting into sleep and this is the time of receptivity where you actually trick the hologram to bring things to you and that's why we have so many great results and testimonials using my sleep affirmations because it's, it's like sleep hypnotherapy but it really does work with impressing the subconscious mind with you already having something with you already having what you desire and that feeling state you're taking into this drift as you're falling asleep and then it's creating an entirely new world for you a new hologram is created and brought all of these things to you so i'm gonna leave that card up on the screen for you with my sleep meditation so click on that pick the meditation that you want to fall asleep with whatever you're desiring you can choose which one you want to fall asleep with and watch what happens in your life i want to put that card on the screen that is the end of this video but also if you want to get a copy of this book you can find that link in the description description below i believe it's the third link down or if you want a free course that's the very first link in the description below to develop the muscle of the mind to be able to more easily impress the subconscious mind and hack your reality all right guys i love you and i will see you in the next one and i will be covering more chapters from my book you are the way very very soon i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one